graph the linear function y equals 2 fifths x plus 3. So y equals 2 fifths x plus 3. Once again, we're going to put an input and output table. So x and y. Now this is an interesting linear function to look at because it has a fraction of 2 over 5. And when you have a fraction like that, which is sort of small, it might be difficult to find the exact location on a graph with um, unit squares. So what I would do is choose x values that are multiples of 5. Because if I use 5 over 5, that would cancel to 1, a whole number. 10 over 5 would be 2, cancel to a whole number. So if you use x in multiples of 5, you don't have to worry about the fraction because this 2 fifth will cancel out to a whole number. So of course I'm going to start with 0, that's always the easiest, and then I'm going to choose 5 and 10, multiples of 5. So y equals 2 fifths, put in 0 here, plus 3. So 2 fifths times 0 is 0, and that leaves you with 3. So a nice whole number to work with. Next, we're going to do y equals 2 over 5 times 5 plus 3. So here the 5 over 5 cancel to 1, and you're left with 2 plus 3 is 5. So a nice, easy whole number that you can graph. y equals 2 over 5 times 10 plus 3. And that's going to be um, 2 times 10 is 20 divided by 5 is 4 plus 3. Once again, a nice, easy whole number. So if you see a linear function that includes a fraction, use input values that are multiples of that denominator, multiples of the denominator here, because that's going to help you be able to um, cancel out the fraction and have a whole number. That's much, much easier to put on a graph. So we have y, my largest y value is going to go up to 7, and my largest x value is going to be up to 10. So I probably need to extend this a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If possible, it's um, good to put at least one or two extra marks um, from the graph from your largest number so that the graph doesn't look like it's, um, the linear function doesn't look like it's coming off the graph. So here is our graph. And we start off with 0, 3. Our next point is 5, 5. And so remember that once you have two points, you've really got all you need to create your line. But I did an extra one here, 10, 7, so let's also grab that one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, so I'm right here up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Over here. So they're pretty much all in a line here, and then it's good to use a ruler to connect them. And there's your linear function, and you can go ahead and label it y equals 2 fifths x plus 3. Thank you for watching educator.com.